Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the sixth tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about variables in PHP. Now, variables are containers for data in memory. And uh, you know, if there are values that you want to store in memory for later use, then you would want to use variables. And variables can have data of different kinds. So you can have string values stored, you can have numbers, even in numbers, you can have whole number values stored and you know, fractional values. So there are a lot of different kinds of variables that you can have in your uh, PHP files. And uh, in this file, we have uh, three variables and we're gonna talk about them. So the name of the file firstly is variables.php. I have it open currently in Notepad++. And uh, then I have the opening PHP tag on line number six, the closing PHP tag on line number 15. And between them, I have uh, first declared and initialized three variables. So the way you create a variable in PHP is by using the dollar symbol. So you type in the dollar character and then you have to f first type in an underscore or an alphabet. So that's how you start your variable names. And then after that, you can type in anything that you want to type. And uh, then to assign values to variables, you have to use the equal to symbol or the assignment operator. And then you can put in whatever value you want to store in the variable. So, you know, for instance, I've created a variable called dollar num and I've given it the value 15.56, which is a numeric value. And I have uh, put in the semicolon to terminate the statement. And then on line number eight, I have created another variable and this one's called var, V-A-R. And again, I've used a dollar symbol to create it, use the assignment operator to assign the value 95 to it. And then I have created another variable on line number nine using the dollar symbol again. And the name of this variable is str and it has a string value what's up. Now we're going to use the echo statement to, you know, see the values of all these variables. So, you know, let me save the file and first show you the output of the file and then we're going to talk about the rest of the code in the file. So I search for variables.php and I press the enter key. I see the three values, 15.56 value in the variable num, 95 in var, and then what's up in the variable str. So on line number 10, I have uh, an echo statement and this one I have used to check out the value of dollar $num. And uh, the variable dollar $num has been enclosed within a set of curly braces. And I'm going to tell you the reason for that in a minute. And uh, then I have uh, the break tag as uh, a string value passed to the echo statement on line number 11. And this is something that you do to get a new line in PHP, right? And then on line number 12, I have displayed the value of dollar $var using the echo statement. So to display variable values, you can simply type in echo first and then a space and then you know, followed by the name of the variable. So, you know, if, if you want to check out the value in dollar $var, you just have to type in dollar $var there. And then I have uh, another echo statement with, uh, you know, the break tag passed as a string value. And then finally, I have used the echo, state, echo statement to check out the value of dollar $str variable. Now, the reason why I have the value dollar $num enclosed in curly braces here is because I have passed it as a string value to echo. I haven't passed it the way it was created. So, you know, if I remove the curly brace here, and if I also remove the, uh, you know, double quotation mark at the beginning and the double quotation mark in the closing curly brace, save the file and uh, refresh it in the browser, I'm going to get the same output. But the reason why I did this in the first place is because I wanted to show how you can pass variable names as a part of a string to echo and how echo uses you know, the variable value, you know, if it is placed within curly braces, right? And uh, that's, that's actually a recommended practice. It's not that if you would just have dollar num within double quotes, it's not going to work, it will work. But uh, you know, it's advised that if you're going to pass variables as part of strings to echo, then it's, uh, you know, it's a good thing to enclose the variable names within curly braces, right? So that's it about variables. In the next tutorial, we're probably going to begin our discussion on strings and we're going to explore all of these uh, data types in detail in the course. And we're going to check out a lot of functions too. And I hope you guys like this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.